Okay, for this uh, the topic, I'm uh, putting children and young adults, and what is the change in measures of quality of life from uh, baseline to uh, uh, from to post test to after intervention, associated with uh, collaborative music making is pretty much what I've framed my my title as, and. Um, the type of review I chose, or I, I cho chose a systematic review, and um, the reason I chose it is um, I was looking at the other ones, and I systematic review is with the one I could actually wrap my mind around. The rest uh, seemed a little bit too complicated, to, too smart for me. So I um, uh, took this systematic review, and as um, so, trying to follow. The, the Prisma format is, is what I've been doing. But then I've also kind of, and again, when I was looking at some articles, I thought um, these, these again, I could wrap my mind around and I could, I could, I could, I could do it. And so uh, th those articles are um, a systematic review of music therapy practice and outcomes in, a, in acute adult psychiatric uh, patients, and that's um, by uh, Catherine Carr and Helen O'Dell Miller and, and Stefan Preen. And I just, when I started to organize, or I actually, when I started organizing my thoughts, not the paper, I haven't quite gotten there yet, um, I, I was looking, it helped to, to structure in my head directions to go. And the other one was the effects of uh, music therapy on children and adolescents with psychopathology, a meta-analysis. And so, that's by Christian Gold and Martin, uh, I'm not sure how to say, Baracic? Tony Wigram. Um, so, some of the um, keywords that I, I looked at, um, and then that was, a, that was a hard process. Refining the keywords, I think, was the, the big thing. When I started out, I'd do the keywords, and they would be, uh, I'd get thousands upon thousands of results like hundreds of thousands, and I just really needed to focus, and um, my, uh, came to adolescence, adolescent behavior, community-based music interventions, music making, music training, music psychology, music therapy, uh, lots of different um, uh, types that were, um, uh, but then I always, uh, that were used in, um, I wanted a, a mental health focus, but not including some of the stuff for people that had mental health issues uh, that were associated to other things or was a different diagnosis in the DTM, DSM. So like ASD was, if it had that as the primary or was included in that, I, I took that out. Or if there was a, um, a, a physical ailment that was associated with the depression, I, I took that out. And so, um, actually those are my exclusion criteria. And um, so, so the inclusion criteria, the articles had to be available in English. And I had um, modified the search. It was really gonna be, um, originally gonna be uh, adolescence, but then um, I went from zero to 25 as uh, to young adult. And they all had to participate in community music experiences, and they could be uh, ensembles, uh, classical contemporary music therapy groups, uh, interventions. Had to last a minimum of four weeks, and uh, they had to have measured assessments. The um, databases searched were uh, PubMed, EBSCO, Psych Info, and Sinal, um, and I gotta thank Josh for this, uh, my, my, my research partner, because when I was, um, he asked so, for so much clarity. Uh, the beginning part, it was really difficult for me, getting the keywords, getting some sort of uh, focus, um, and, uh, and Josh really helped with that, mainly because I was not clear to him, and he was helping me, so um, I had to be clear, and I, I really appreciate it. Thanks, Josh, if you're watching this. And then, um, 
Uh, so we had to modify, I had to modify keywords to, for clarity. <clears throat> that I think was the, one of the biggest challenges. And then the other challenge was uh, the tech. I had a really hard time getting stuff into abstract or finally able to, to do it. Am I, I was using the search uh, engines for, on my computer, on my, my work uh, stuff at St. Cloud State University, and they had a Zotero already linked. And I couldn't get things to abstract or from my searches, but I could import them to Zotero and then just found out how to do that and then import them to abstract. And once I got that, that was good. And so that's what we've been using. And um, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Thanks.